In between all the vines and trees sits a campsite with charred firewood. For almost a century, some of Ithaca's homeless have called the jungle their home. We had a big bonfire right there to keep warm around there. Maria McCord lived in the jungle on and off for months. Like others who come down during the day, she has seen a service road built in the past two weeks in order to allow first responders easier access into the jungle. We do see the positive side of it. We do see that they're trying to make more um, road safer and everything but we do miss a lot of good things that happen. By clearing the brush, we make it a less hospitable environment for that. You know, um, now that police cars can come in and ambulances can come in and people can see what's going on in there, less people are hanging out. Since this road went up, Maria hasn't seen anyone staying in the jungle. Typically, she says there were as many as 10 people living here at a time. Since moving out of the jungle three years ago, Maria has lived in homeless shelters in Ithaca. She currently lives at the rescue mission and is looking to rent her own apartment now. I have access to food every day now, so that is a lot more positive side over there, and it was hard to survive here. Ithaca's mayor says he has the ability to evict and arrest anyone who stays here in the jungle because this land belongs to both the city and the railroad. He says he wants to see people to continue staying away. We have people going to the bathroom behind bushes and trees and um, it's never very sanitary but increasingly we're seeing violence we're seeing illness we're seeing death even with warnings some still want to come to this place throughout the day to drink and relax but i'm going to be honest I'm, i'll come here anyway you know i'm being honest i may get a ticket and i'm telling the police straight out flat and i really ain't caring reporting from ithaca i'm alex rosilla